fellow woodburners, this is Annie from Pyrocrafters. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be covering how we do uh, lettering artwork on our wood canvases. We get asked a lot of questions about how we transfer the artwork, how we set those files up. So I'm going to be covering that today and showing you from start to finish how we do it. So for this tutorial, you're going to need a wood canvas, access to a computer and a printer, tape, scissors, a pencil, carbon paper, a wood burning kit, and optionally varnish for finishing and backer pieces to hang it. Okay, for a Photoshop file, the first thing that we're going to do is set up the dimensions for our canvas. Now our canvas is 12 inches by 12 inches, so that's exactly the size that our Photoshop file needs to be so that when we set up fonts, they match proportionately to the canvas. So now that we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, picking out the fonts that I want and typing out the lettering that I need. And you can play around with this all you want. You can, you know, choose the fonts that you want, choose the size that you want everything to be. This is really where you get to be creative and decide uh, what, how you want to set up your file. Let's go ahead and print it out. And you'll see here I have all of my supplies ready. My template the carbon paper, my wood canvas, my tape, and I'm ready to go ahead and get it set up. So just place the template where you want it on your canvas and start adding your tape. Once you get it in position, you can go ahead and add your carbon paper underneath and then just start tracing. Don't worry too much about getting the lines just right. If you get outside of the lines a little bit or make a mistake, you can always clean it up when you burn. Okay, so just for fun, I'm going to rough sketch out some trees at the bottom. Feel free to get creative here and add anything you want to add. Okay, now that we've got our template all set up, let's go ahead and get our safety gear together and get ready to start burning. Let's go ahead and turn our burner on. I've got the heat set to four on the heavy duty side which is plenty hot for this basswood canvas and just start filling in your letters try to stay inside those lines as closely as possible if you feel yourself coming outside of the lines too much it's really not a big deal just try to keep those edges as nice and clean as you can and you can always come back and touch up later I usually will come back after I'm done burning and look for any lines that are jagged or are too bumpy and try to clean up the edges a little. Uh, some wood burners will try to avoid this yellowy kind of scorched look on the edges of their lines. It kind of just gives it a, a cool finished look to me. Some, some burners don't care for that. If you want to avoid that scorch line, just turn your heat down more and it won't burn as much on the edges. When I'm filling in these larger sort of block letters like this, I like to use this sort of line texture to fill in. I just like the way it looks personally, but feel free to experiment with any kind of texture or technique you like to fill in your letters. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of these letters. And here I'm just kind of touching up the edges a little bit, trying to get rid of any sort of jagged or rough edges. Okay, now we're going to fill in our trees. So this is another opportunity to get creative, just play around with different textures and, and fill these trees in however you feel. This is a Watco Danish oil. This is the uh, product that we use to finish all of our pieces. It's really easy to use and it really brings out a beautiful finish to the wood. We use a D-ring and screw set with just a coated wire for our backer pieces. We find that it, um, it holds the pieces well and it gives it a nice finished look. how we set up our artwork for lettering. So I'm gonna, um, 
something about it where you can watch how I do it. <laughs> so stick with us through this video and uh, it'll be a nice little lettering. Just something. I don't know. Oh man, this is so much harder than it looks. <clears throat>